Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I have to do a little bit of redemption. In the title, you could see that I lied to you in my last video. Kinda, sorta, not really. I didn't really intentionally lie to you, but I gave you some information that after I posted the video, it kinda sucked. I had purchased this right here. This is my Craig Jig track saw. And I put it together, and I'm not gonna take down the video because it kind of shows you how to set that thing up and what it does and how it is. But what I lied to you about, and I use the word lied very loosely because I didn't lie, uh, what I misinformed was the saw, the skill saw. It sucked ass. Honestly, it was hands down really crappy. It didn't cut straight. And I noticed that after I put that thing together and I started using it a couple times. The very first cut, it worked fine. And that's why I put the video out. I'm like, okay, this is great. It worked. It did its job. It cut a straight line one time. One time. That saw that I bought was really crappy. Um, I don't know what happened to it, but after the first time I cut, the saw just wouldn't cut straight. It literally was off kilter or I don't know how else to put it, it was off almost a quarter of an inch from the front of the blade to the back of the blade. So when I was pushing along, it wasn't cutting straight up and down like this, it was cutting like at an angle. So I'm gonna show you a line that I cut and how far off this thing got. So yeah, here, right here was the line that I wanted to cut using that track saw. And you can see it started off a little bit weird like it didn't maybe I didn't line it up but watch what happens when I got way to up in this area it it was so far off that it wasn't cutting straight and and I didn't I'm like what is happening this was not going to so by the time I would have got to here I probably would have cut this line that I wanted to cut on it probably would have cut way over here like it was cutting at an angle it was it was cutting like this and it kept dragging along and it would not cut straight for the life of me and I just couldn't figure it out. So I ended up measuring from the front of the blade to the guide to the back of the bl uh, blade of the guide and it was just so far off I had to return it. It was just crap. So again, it worked like one time and then after that it was garbage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that video up because it really shows you how the Craig saw works. I'm not going to do a setup video or anything like that. But what I ended up doing was I purchased, I went to the store and I purchased a triple, the better quality of a skill saw or circular saw. Sorry. I returned the skill saw and I bought this, the, the, the Bosch circular saw three times the price, definitely a much better saw. Uh, but I, I'm a very big proponent on you get what you pay for, but a lot of the times you don't have to pay a million dollars for something that is gonna actually do a good job. But in this case, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. I bought the cheapest skill saw that I can buy, which was 44 bucks, and it was garbage. Uh, it was, so I ended up, I, I stepped it up on this one, big guys. We went ahead with the Bosch 15 amp. That other one was like a 12 amp or a 13 amp or something like that. But I ended up getting this Bosch 15 amp and you heard in that last video that I really enjoy using a fine finish blade. So I purchased this carbide tip spider tarantula blade that we're gonna actually put onto this Bosch. I believe it comes with a blade, but we're just gonna go jump onto this. And I think what I'm gonna do is use that Bosch blade on that circular saw right there. That is my old school, I think it's a skill saw as well, but we're gonna use that one just for ripping, if I don't have to do any fine cuts or anything like that, I'm going to use this one, the Bosch, for that. So we're going to use this blade here. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, set it up. I'm going to put it on the track saw really quick, and then we're going to give it a try. So, But we're not going to show you how to do this, the setup on the track saw because we've already done that. Go to my last video. It shows you how to set it up, how to do that. We're just going to go ahead and put it on there and then try to do a quick rip or two or three on this with the skill saw. And I'll actually show you, we're gonna measure this. Once I get this on, we're gonna measure the front of the blade to the back of the blade and see if it is straight and if it will cut straight according to the guide. So, but I could already tell you just by holding this in the store, this was way, way better quality than the skill saw. So I should be okay. All right, here we go.
check this out. This thing comes with its own carrying bag, which this bag alone is probably 40 bucks, let alone let alone the whole entire skill saw blade that I got before. This bag is awesome. It's, this is cool. I like this. I didn't expect getting a bag with it. So yeah. Uh, super, super nice saw. Again, the quality of this base and just the structural quality of this thing is so much better already from what I can tell than the, that skill saw that I had purchased. So there it is, man. This thing is, this thing is awesome. It does come with the blade. Let's see, this is a framing blade. So it is a, this is a 24 tooth blade that it comes with, but we're going to go ahead and put on this 40 tooth carbide tip spider blade. All right, guys, so real quick before I actually hook it up to the track saw, I'm gonna come back, step back a little bit, and I wanted to show you what I was talking about. So I have this square that I measured up with the back of the blade, and if you actually run this to the top, to the bottom, right here, you could see that the blade is darn near perfectly squared with this with the bottom of the track here so the front of the blade is exactly one inch and a little over a half just over just over a, or i'm sorry just under a half okay and then coming back here to the very back of the blade it's exact so what happened with the other one was this blade was out here okay that about that far in and then by the time I got to here, it was touching. So it almost was like off by about that much. This is a, this is what you want to look for. Make sure that your circular saw or any other saw or anything that you have lined up is squared up because you'll never get a straight cut. This is perfect. This is dead on perfectly square. So awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this line that I made originally. I'm going to drop down the saw blade. Oh, let's see. So what I had to do was I had to make my initial straight cut. That way I know exactly what this saw should actually be cutting on without doing any kind of twisting. So this is going to be the test to see if it actually cuts perfectly straight along this line. The other thing I like about this saw too is it doesn't have a, a safety button. It's actually just pull the trigger, pull the trigger and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about using your thumb or whatever. This is just, this is a really, really nice saw guys. If you're interested, I would spend the money and get a really good circular saw opposed to going like I did and getting a cheap crap saw. Don't do it. All right. 
we should be lined up. Let me double check one more time. Yep, we're good. All right, let's get this thing cut. Let's see how this does. All right, <laughs> perfect. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch the saw. I'm not gonna touch the this here. Let me go ahead and uh, okay, hold on. I can actually do this. All right, check it out. This is exactly, this is perfect. Like almost so perfect that I don't even know. I, I'm I'm absolutely ecstatic. Let me take this off, okay, without moving anything, okay. But look, look how perfect that that went. This is exactly how this should work. I went ahead and got that new that new to, uh, fine tooth saw blade on it. I got that adjusted perfectly. This is exactly to cut a straight perfect line. There is nothing better than this now. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I just, I just wanted to remake this video. This video had to be remade. I wanted to show, I'm going to leave the other video up. That way you could see how to initially set up the Craig jig, but this video is going to basically tell you that you can buy crappy tools. Buying crappy tools sometimes, not that they're crappy, just tools that aren't built well. They can really mess you up in your process of building a piece so or a project or whatever you want to call it. Um, so make sure you do your, your research, you do your diligence on purchasing the right tools. If, if that tool was perfectly dead on square center straight, I wouldn't have in this video right now. This video would not be posted. But because that, that, that tool was crap, I wanted to just I guess apologize in the way that, you know, but I wanted to do this the next week. So the first week was setting up the Craig jig. This week is redeeming myself with a better actual tool. So yes, I hope you understand. Uh, I, I just wanted to, to put this out there. If you like this video, if you want to see more of this stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Put a big thumbs up on this video. It really helps the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate everyone. And until that next video, next weekend, I actually have a really cool video. It's kind of completely different. I'm really excited to see this video go up. So stay tuned. Until that next video, make sure I'll do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to just tell you guys, I'm going to tell you guys what right now. I might really stop buying <laughs> like really crappy tools, um, especially saws. My next one is I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to purchase a really awesome circular saw because right now that is my circular saw. I mean, table saw. Crap, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is buy a really good table saw and then we're going to set that up sanders and other little stuff like that i'm not so much worried about but uh, saws that actually need to cut straight lines you gotta have a good saw all right see you later